नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टूडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन जनरल थियोरी ऑफ रिलेटिविटी लेक्चर नंबर वन इन विच आई विल गिव द क्लियर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कोवेरियंस नाउ आई विल ट्राई टू क्लैरिफाई यू द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कोवेरियंस in general theory of relativity so firstly we have to analyze the laws of special theory of relativity according to special theory of relativity the laws describing any phenomena in free space must be independent of velocity of particular observer who makes measurements and must have same form and contents when referred to different sets of cartesian axes which are in uniform relative translatory motion in general theory of relativity we make full use of general idea of relativity of all kinds of motion so here the laws must be expressible in a form which is independent of particular space time coordinates chosen here we see that in special theory of relativity the coordinate system chosen is rectangular cartesian system of coordinates and here we consider the uniform velocity of the system and in that case any phenomena in free space must be independent of the velocity of particular observer but in general theory of relativity in general theory of relativity no such kind of ideas are taken here we take any kinds of all kinds of motion and for all kinds of motion the laws must be expressible in a form which is independent of particular space time coordinate system means here idea is broaden so in other words laws of nature remain invariant with respect to any space time coordinate system and this statement is called principle of general covariance so we must express all our laws by means of covariant equation that make no use of particular coordinate system this we do by the use of tensor calculus because the expression of law by tensor equation has an exactly the same form in all system of coordinates since the line element in special relativity is ds square equal to minus bracket dx square plus dy square plus dz square bracket closed plus c square dt square where c be the velocity of the light in tensor form the line element is expressed as ds square equal to gij dx i dx j i j equal to 1 2 dot 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 n where gij be the metric tensor or fundamental covariant tensor this fundamental tensor gij is a covariant tensor of rank 2 which obeys the transformation law as follow g prime ij equal to partial derivative of x a with respect to x prime i that is del x a by del x prime i del x b by del x prime j g a b this is the law of transformation of covariant tensor of rank 2 let this is number 1 where dashed quantities belong to the 
new coordinate system x prime i let physical laws of nature in xi coordinate system are represented by the equation a i j equal to b i j this is the mixed tensor of rank 2 then we get a prime i j this is in coordinate system x prime i del x prime i by del x a here del x b by del x prime j a a b and b prime i j equal to del x prime i by del x a del x b by del x prime j b a b implies that a prime i j minus b prime i j equal to del x prime i by del x a del x b by del x prime j this is common a a b b a b minus here this equal to del x prime i by del x a del x b by del x prime j using 2 using 2 this will be 0 using 2 since here a i j equal to b i j here in place of i if we write a in place of j we write b a a b equal to b a b and this will be 0 implies that a prime i j equal to b prime i j also we may show that if a quantities in a, a system of coordinates is symmetric in a system of coordinates then it is symmetric in all system of coordinates also we may show that if a quantities in a system of coordinates be skew symmetric then it is skew symmetric in all system of coordinates also we may show that if the quantities in a system vanishes then the quantities will vanish in every system of coordinates therefore we may conclude that if a two types of quantities are same in a coordinate system then here corresponding quantities in a other system of coordinates that is here prime system of coordinates dash system of coordinates be same if a quantities in a system is symmetric then it is symmetric in every system of coordinates if quantities be skew symmetric in a system of coordinates then it is skew symmetric in all system of coordinates if quantities vanish in one system of coordinates then it will vanish in every system of coordinates so our conclusion is here the tensorial quantities follow the general covariant law so in general theory of relativity we use the principle of covariance by the application of tensor calculus thanks for watching my video if you are satisfied with my presentation 
and contents then please click on like button and do subscribe my youtube channel thank you